Hello everybody, how are we all doing? It's Monday. Yep, no. Monday the 22nd. 22nd of the 10th. Yeah, 22nd of October. Oh yeah, it's getting close. Yes, Halloween. Halloween. Isn't it? Halloween's very, very close. Abby, lo Abby loves Halloween. She's got her uh, nine days away. Yep, she's got her costume and everything ready for trick or treating. First time. What are you going dressing up as? Um, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. So you better be nice out there, or she'll cast a spell on you all. So anyway, I have a uh, one that's like the <coughs> yeah, his head. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Don't know what to say to that. But anyway, uh, I'm it's 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 been shop day Monday. It's time for me to yeah. uh, give you an update on what I've been up to during the week. What's that? What's that? A little chat about modelling and anything else that sort of comes into our heads modeling. on a Monday. <laughs> So uh, let's get down to the bench. I'm almost finished. I'm 99.99 percent finished with the. Uh, so there's like one more bit yeah, to do with, with the M3 half track. I just want to finish it off. Just a couple of little tidying up pieces. So um, like. there will be another Done. video coming up in the next day or two with the uh, the final reveal of it. Even though you're oh, getting you're practically getting the final reveal now because. <laughs> yeah. uh, what I'm going to do to this is very, very minimal. It's very like very a bump just, slash. It's just tidy okay. up any bits that need to be slash. tidied up, making it, make it. Uh, I wouldn't say making it perfect because I never seem to make things perfect. But I'm making perfect <laughs> enough for me, making them that I'm happy with it. And when I'm happy with it, then I do the final review. Yeah. So mm -hmm. without further ado, let's go on to the bench. We'll we'll up completely. Well, just then I'm not happy with it, but I'd still show it <laughs> anyway. It always have to be complicated, don't it? It always <laughs> yeah. has to be complicated. I always have to find something wrong. Niggly things. So anyway, uh, let's get on to the bench. We'll have a look at... Uh, oh, excuse me. What I've been up to. Have a look at this in its uh, almost, but not quite finished stage. And uh, what plans I have for my next project. Because this project, there's, there's, there's only minimal things to be done to this. What's that? So that's something that fell off that. That's why I have it there, so I can put it back on here. Oh. I'll show these people now in a second. <laughs> so let's go down to the bench and have a look. So right, so there it is in its uh, almost but not quite finished stage. Um, getting there, getting there, very, very rapidly getting there. Um, I have it nicely distressed. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with all the, uh, with all the chips and the paint missing and the shiny bits and pieces it's kind of along here where where the sort of the, any bit of paint and the undercoat has uh, has chipped away um and i've uh, just i would just want to tidy up the uh, the dusting okay it's kind of clumped in areas i don't want it to clump in and things like that so it just needs a little bit of tidying up plus i want to work on the underside the underside of it because it's still uh, the underside of it is still clean so I want to kind of get that all mucky and, 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 and just looking right. Not that anybody's going to be picking it up and turning it over, but just in case. And I haven't fitted on the gun yet either. Still deciding whether to have it that way or that way. I think you I mean, should the maybe it, have it. The way it is. See what I mean about the dust? There's just, just the extra little bits in it is still kind of coming off. Plus my little ammo box from the tortoise can in the front is after coming off, came off there when I was sort of uh, aggressively about. putting on some uh, some pigments, and like I said, we've got sort of just a couple of areas of pigments just have to be cleaned off a bit, just to kind of uh, Make it yeah, they're, they're they're kind of clumping up a bit. I don't want them clumping, but uh, I'm happy enough with how it's going. I'm really really happy with how that's going, cool. and like I said, just a couple of little tidy up bits and pieces to be done to that. Right, on to our semi nudie figure. Um, I gave it an undercoat of uh, white and it all started to kind of just peel away. Um, I don't know whether it was the undercoat I used or the fact that I never washed the piece. Yeah, that's uh, it. Apparently, it's advised in uh, with um, uh, Resin. Uh, thank you, my darling. Did you it, it is advised that? with uh, resin figures to give them an old wash off before. I did. I gave. It, I, I washed the chap before I 
I, I made him. Oh yeah, it is painted. Whereas yeah. this this one isn't done, so I gotta kind of try and get that off again, get all the paint Maybe off. Maybe if you can't, it's, it's kind like of crumpled up a bit. If you can see there. Maybe if. You see if the way it's all kind of gone uh, orange peely. Maybe okay. if you. So I gotta kind of clean off the orange peel. Um, Maybe ma if you can't get it off, maybe it would just look like. Uh, yeah. Um, like no, I get I get yeah. it off. I get it off easy enough. It's it, it's it's not a it's not a major problem. Um, <laughs> it's just that I I just I shouldn't. I, it could have been the paint I used. It might have been gone a bit off. It might have been pressure wrong or whatever. But um, what paint did you use? I used white paint, my darling. Ordinary white paint. I just wanted to give it a kind of a nice light overcoat to make sure that I got. And all the uh, the areas that I had to fill, making sure that they were uh, where they were done nice and neatly, which they were. I was happy enough with them, but um, the paint then just started to kind of peel away and just rub off, basically. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them all off, give her a good clean down. Um, I'm going to use the cleaner. What I use, um, I use. Um, um, uh, What's the stuff I use? Uh, surgical spirit. Surgical spirit. That's what I use to clean off the paint. And uh, I just give him a rub down. I just use a little bit there on her body and it worked. It came off because it was very, very... Um, that orange peel kind of was all over her there. And I got that off easy enough and bits came off her back and stuff. So it just needs to be cleaned down a bit further. I started to clean it off and I never kind of got back to it because I went started playing around with that again. So that's uh, it's one of those long-term projects. She's she's uh, standing there, and she'll get little bits done to her as as, as the time goes on. Um, so what have I got to do next? Um, I'll show you in a second because I never get the box into here. But um, my next project, I'll talk about uh, when I zoom back up to myself in abs, which I will do now because, like I said, Why not? I'm after showing you how far I'm after getting with that. What's that little red thing in the corner? Fire extinguisher inside. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm just about <laughs> making it out in there. You can see it. Yeah, sort of. little fire extinguisher. I thought it was like there. a balloon or something. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Israeli army are always playing around with balloons. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go back up to my Stephen House. We've do with our bum fruit and our bum chocolate, and yes. I'll show you what my next project is. Yes. That was what he did down the bed. We'll back up. A voice over him. You can continue. <laughs> that was it. That's what I've been up to, as Abby said. So, um, that project is as good as finished. There's only just the last little bits and pieces to do. I'll let that then done this evening, and then I'll do a video tomorrow and have that up. So, that means i got to start off on something else again, because I have to have something to do in the evenings. you got to do something. got to do something. I get bored otherwise. I get bored. So, I've decided Drop to do this. Okay, it's the, the US, US M1138. Yeah. Uh, Armoured personnel car. I'm excited for this one. No. Because. One thing. The scheme on this is a nice camouflage scheme. No! I will not be doing that. No, just throw that out the window. Yep, throw that out the window. I'm going to do this as a United Nations vehicle. So therefore, Yay. I'm going to be painting it nice and white. Okay. I'm going to get my hands on some UN decals or. Paint them. Paint, yeah, paint it on because all it is just U and N. And that's it, UN, United Nations, mm -hmm. big UN. And so, I, and <laughs> from my own service, I served with the UN. Some of our vehicles they were kind of stenciled on, and some of them were painted on by dyslexic. Never forget the time that we went up in one of the jeeps. Uh, one of the beds just finished the jeeps. It you went perfectly on the other side, and he wanted to match it to the other side. And the other side said "nu," <laughs> and he painted it on them with glass paint. So that was fun. See, I was uh, really happy and chuffed with that one. <laughs> so uh, that had I'm to be all kind of one. removed, and it wasn't really removed at the best. And it was repainted "un," and you could see the. Uh, the mistake underneath it kind of thing because it was uh, I'm excited. badly painted <laughs> over and things like that but it's a case that most of these things are done in the field and a new vehicle will come in and I mean 
they'd come from the the, the host country. Like we uh, we use the uh, the Moag APC. That's the ones that the Irish Army use, which is very very like the uh, the Striker, the American Army Striker, and. Uh, when we bring them overseas, it depends on the mission, obviously. Some missions they stay as in the, the camouflage uh, and just get UN painted onto the side of them. And some are actually painted white and then UN in black. Is that how you're doing it? Either stenciled or hand painted onto it, okay? Um, I'm excited. So I'm just going to have yeah. UN on this. Um, I'm going to paint the figures up as just UN, so they're going to have the green and they're going to have the blue yeah. helmets. And things like that, and there's some other figures in this that uh, that Joe Joe sent me on. Did, I got this kit from Joe? Joe Joe Bentley. Oh, Joe! I like yes. Joe. Joe's model kits, the the guy with the little uh, leprechaun, leprechaun, and uh, Joe sent me on this kit, and it's a fabulous kit because it's got a full interior and everything else. And really, that's really, why I was excited. Really, really <coughs> looking interiors. forward to getting stuck into this. I love interior um, So I won't be putting any. Um, um, you know, bags hanging off the side of it or anything like that. It'll be just nice and clean white with a UN on the side of it. Because um, what mission is going to be? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be. Um, I mean, we didn't use the Irish Army didn't use uh, the M113s. Um, I don't. I, do. I don't ever I remember do. seeing um, any UN. 113s out in Lebanon, which is where I served, but they have been seen in other, in other. Um, what did it say? 103 on the side. That's just a unit number and things like that. Why not? Yeah. Just tow on one. Um, I know that the Australians use them. Oh yeah, yes, on one or two of their missions, uh, <laughs> Canadians have used them in their missions. I'm sure the US, the US, the Americans have uh, used them on UN missions as well. So um, I googled images, uh, M113. UN and a couple of pictures came up. I didn't actually go into them. I just wanted to make sure that I, that I wasn't seeing things earlier. So they have been used, and I'm just going to paint it up in a generic UN thing. Okay. Um, I'm playing over here. And I've got some tank stops and things. So I might do a little dial with it, little UN dial. So that's my plans for the future, as in future, as in the next week or two. Yeah, because you know me. I make it takes me about two or three weeks and it's done, finished the whole shebang and fast once I start. So all that's left to do is bum fruit and bum chocolate. Now Abby wants to do the chocolate, so we leave Abby do the chocolate it's first. A boost bar. Hey, boost bar. Who make boost bars? Dun, 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 dun. Cadbury's. 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 It's a Cadbury boost. Show it to the camera, not the, okay. not the computer. Uh, uh. Right, bring it back a bit, it's too far in, too close in. And your fingers are covering up where it says boost. No, it's not. There you go. I was trying to show them the Cadbury side. All right, sorry. Cadbury, Cadbury boost. Okay, Cadbury boost. These are good. They are good. They're not, they're, it's one of my favorites, which is why I purchased it. And I thought that you don't like them. Unfortunately, she does. So therefore, I know. Say clever, Uncle. <laughs> One. Take your fruit. Take your fruit. And the well. fruit for Simon and uh, oh. the other uh, people. Like, oh. that <laughs> for Simon and the other uh, diabetics, you can have an orange. Take that. Mm. Wink. There you go. There's an orange for you. I can juggle. I can try and juggle. Du, 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 du. Juggling with one thing isn't exactly juggling. It's just chucking it from one hand to the other. Okay. <laughs> no. Put down my. Put down my snow. <laughs> what is it? I say yes. Mad as a bag Pick of frogs. Mad as a bag of frogs. Okay. So that's it, lads. We'll catch you next week with another bum. Another update. Uh, stay tuned for during the week. I will have the final reveal of the M3 half track. I will have an unboxing up of this beautiful Academy kit, the uh, US M113 A2. Okay. Um, and uh, Monday, like I said, for the bomb. And I might even have the first build update done of the uh, M113. So I might have a busy week. Stay tuned, stay tuned to the channel. And the easiest way to stay tuned to the channel is to uh, click just about there, that little link there. Okay. That link there, that, that link there will, will bring you straight to uh, subscribing. 
and you can subscribe to the channel through that. And if you have already subscribed, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. And uh, we look forward to uh, doing our bums on the Monday, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm always coming home from school. Like, yay. Yay, bum day. Mondays. It's bum day. <laughs> oh my God, international. Day for a good bumming. <laughs> Inter international bum day. International bum day. Just picked something up and fell. Sorry, it's like Arsehole Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, you we'll see it. you next Monday. Stay safe, and in the meantime. Huh? Oh, boy, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, go out, watch, have a kit, build it, and enjoy it as he no. whispered to me. <laughs> That's it, probably will come. <laughs> <laughs> That's your home, it's gone. <laughs> Sorry. We'll catch you next I'm week, sorry. lads. Stay safe. Ta da. What? Bye. <laughs>